Tough. Where could you peak, right? It's tough. <laughs> a, lot of, uh, a lot of concentration. I think one of the good things about the Kung Fu is that when you're actually doing it, you can't think of anything else. I think it's like a release for me. To, Two, and that's why I like going on the season. Four, five, six, E, E, R, Sun, 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 Leah, G, Well, what we try to do with Imani is, is uh, remind him of times when he was successful. And we try to get him to understand that even though it's a different type of workout, it's very similar to his football. And that everything that he learns here, he can apply to his football workouts. Okay, we do palms and hooks. I want you to focus straight ahead. Okay? I'm going to keep your mind focused on what you're doing. And as you go, you're going to get stronger with each one. Got it? And one. Uh, he's like a, um, like an older brother, uh, like a father type figure. You know, he, uh, every time I lose focus, I come and I talk to him. And he gets me right back on the right track. The questions that we ask get us different results. Right? If you focus on how tired you are, what kind of results you're going to get. And if you focus on, okay, I can make it through this set or set that small goal for yourself, what kind of results you're going to get. Right. I think probably about 70 to 80% is mental because, you know, your body does what your mind tells it to do. I think once you get your mind strong and you feel like you can do things that, you know, your body is telling you you can't do, get that much better, that much quicker. One. Good, try not to ride your stance with yourself. And two. Visualize, see it before you do it. Ready? Ultimately, this, this will help him to understand what is it that makes Amani perform at his best.